What's up guys and welcome back to Supercars of Westchester. We have another C8 Z06 video for you today and this one is going to be going over most if not all of the C8 Z06 renders that have been going around for the past few months now. Recently we have seen spy shots and videos of the new C8 Z06 driving around and although it has been heavily camouflaged we can still make out some differences between the Z06 and the standard Stingray models. As the next few months unfold, I'm sure we will see less and less camo on the car and eventually just have a camo wrap as they did with the Stingray before it was unveiled. I'm hopeful that we will be able to see the unveiling of the new Z06 sometime this summer, which leaves us with just a few months left to speculate what it is going to look like with all the new aero updates and possible wheel and wing options. Recently, there has been some information that GM is canceling the carbon fiber aero kit and roof for the new C8s because of supplier constraints. Basically, the supplier could not keep up with all of the orders being placed and would not be able to get them out in time for deliveries. Hopefully, this will be sorted out sooner than later and will not affect any of the components planned for the Z06 variant, but only time will tell. Let's get right into this video and go over some of these awesome renders and talk about the features that stand out the most. This is the first one being one of the more aggressive renders we have seen in terms of the wide body kit and front end with all the carbon fiber add-ons. This is a really cool render. I like the color combination here. It's nothing too bright and flashy, but it still looks menacing, especially from the front. I like the style of the front bumper a lot and the added carbon fiber splitter gives it an extra added touch to really set it apart. A lot of these renders seem to have a lowered suspension and although the Z06 I'm sure will have an upgraded suspension, I don't think it would be quite that low from the factory. And not for nothing, that wouldn't be too feasible for the daily drivers especially on the terrible roads here in New York. Another thing to note here is the vents on the front hood. These vents look very similar to the ones on the C8R, but I think the vent on the Z06 will be more centered judging by the way the camo is covering it on the spy shots. And the wing really looks awesome here. On to the next render here, the next five photos are just different variations of the same render. This one is very aggressive as well, and although there are some similarities from the last render, this one stands out with the style of the wing at the back. It's completely different than all the others, and I happen to like it a lot. Although it doesn't look like GM will go with this style of wing, I'm sure the aftermarket scene will come up with something similar. Besides the wide body kit and the added splitters on the front, there isn't too much else to note here except the rear duct right below the side air intake on the car similar to that of the C7 Z06. That's a nice touch. This one here I thought was pretty interesting. I haven't seen it anywhere before and there were a few elements I liked from it. The first one being the C8R style front fenders, but it has the Z06 branding on it in carbon fiber which I thought was a really cool update to some of the previous renders. Another cool feature here is the clear taillights, like that of the C7 Z06, which ties in a little better with the carbon fiber and carbon flash accents. The rear diffuser here is also a nice add on it. These next two are kind of similar and feature some C7 Z06 elements, like the front grille insert, the hood vent, and even the wheels. I do like the side vent here on the orange render, and I think this is going to be pretty close to what the actual C8 Z06 side air intake will look like. This render has been all over, but it's still pretty cool to look at. The most notable feature to me is the Porsche GT RS style front fenders, sporting the C8R rear wing and the C7 Z06 quad exhaust at the back. All these really cool features coming together to make this awesome render. This render stood out to me a lot. The hood vent is a really cool design element, and I really like that open air front bumper design too. Of course the added carbon arrow kit helps bring it all together and I do think this is more realistic render than some of the other ones that we have seen. Another cool design here is the rear air vents all the way in the back by the wing which kind of give it a little throwback element to the C7 design. Not a big fan of that wing design, it looks a little weird to me. This render here is probably one of my favorites. I don't know if it's just the angle but these rear tires and wheels look massive and that concave design is really cool too. And from this angle, that wider side air intake looks awesome. Also, the centered exit exhaust is really cool touch, along with that rear diffuser, which is unlike anything we have seen in the previous renders. Overall, I think this one looks the best, and I just wish it had a larger wing at the back instead of the standard Stingray spoiler. 
This was the Hennessy render that was released with the info on their upcoming 1200 horsepower C8 build. A really cool design with the added roof scoop and rear wing. Also some additional aero parts on the front end as well. This render is basically the C8R made to look like an actual production car and I think it works. I think the overall design of the C8 Z06 will be mostly inspired by this car so it's important to look at all the different elements closely. We have already talked about the wider side air intakes but the front bumper design I actually like a lot. It's slightly more aggressive than the Stingray but not too over the top like some of the other renders. I think with some added aero components it will look perfect on the Z06. This render I spoke about in a previous video which to me closely resembles the LaFerrari FXXK design. Not very realistic but still pretty cool to see. This last one here also has the clear taillights along with the C7 Z06 quad exhaust setup. I really do like the centered exit exhaust setup but from the spy photos it does not look like that's going to be the case. Well that's going to do it for the renders. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the best and which one would best suit the C8 Z06. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.